Hi everyone, Bongo here from Poultry People and today I've got an unboxing video. Look all the different states with there. I saw it on the DIY groups um, about a week ago and everyone's gushing over it. But they were really expensive in the UK, they're like 160 quid or something crazy. Anyway, track one down. Yeah, it is what it is. Amazon. Amazon. Why has it got Amazon and eBay on it? I didn't buy it off Amazon. eBay. Come via Amazon. No importation duty or VAT or anything like that. And I think I paid about 56 quid for it. There it is. Air locker, air punch, nailer. This is to help me de nail pallets. Hopefully. What do we get? A uh, drop of glue, an allen key, and the gun itself. Rubberized grip, trigger, anything else? Nothing else. No other moving parts at all. There's my adapter, and we've got a PCL coupling on it. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. Danger, danger. Lubricating. Disconnect the tool from air supply and add a few drops of oil into the inlet. Wipe off excess oil at the exhaust. Excessive oil will damage O rings of the tool. Clearing the jam, cleaning the tool. Operating the tool. Lubricate the tool. Attach a high pressure air hose to the inlet. Regulate the air pressure to obtain the air pressure to within the recommended working pressure range outlined in this manual. Just to see if the air pressure is enough to punch nails out. What's the fucking thingy then? Ah, use clean, dry, regulated compressed air at 70 to 120 psi. Never connect tool to pressure which potentially exceeds 200 psi that the tool can burst. What's what we're doing now then? PCL coupling and tape. PTFE tape. You know what? I'd say that was cross threading. Fuck it, if it jams in, it jams in. Let's have a quick test. Well, it's not leaking, so that's good. Let's turn it on. Goes on there like that, apparently. Ooh. Okay. Someone is firing them out, and it's still it's still leaving them in. Watch out for your cats while you're doing this. <laughs> so you actually put a bent nail in, spin it up. Okay, so it's not taking them out all the way. 
still going to have to go back fuck, with the hammer now and do them up unless I turn the power up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was only set on. What's that? I can't bloody see. Yeah, it's been set up on about 90 bar, uh, 90 psi. Jam it up to 100. Give it another go. Fuck you know. No, it's not going to take it out all the way. Nearly. So, still gonna have to take them out with a hammer. Try jamming it all the way up to 120. Maxed out. Fire these up. <laughs> yeah, let's have that one out. They're flying out. Good. Okay, I'm running about 110 psi. Still gonna need the hammer on that one. But it's taking all that tapping out and shit, hasn't it? Let's try it the other way. Does it actually go off on you? It's fucking dangerous. So all it needs a nail that's missing its head. Good thing I put my hand there. <laughs> yeah, look at points at the um, doodah down there. The uh, white sheet. Cool. Stick them up. <laughs> <laughs> so the result, uh, yeah, that's going to take a fair bit of time out, I think, on the denailing of pallets. It's going to help anyway. Worth the money? Maybe. Time will tell. Seems alright, seems well made. Air locker, uh, AP700 was it? I'll put the link up in the description so you're not getting bummed like 150 odd quid for it. It's a good deal. Thanks for watching.